Mimban was the swampy world plunged into chaos during the Clone Wars and would see even more devastation by the Republic's successor state, the Galactic Empire. But what exactly made this place such a hell to fight in? And why was it such a long conflict? So we can start on a little bit of history around the world. Now, Mimban is a relatively grim world in the expansion region, shadowed by a constant overcast and the surface been dominated by rainforests, swamps and vast mudfields. The world was incredibly humid and pretty inhospitable to most life forms. However, the native species, the Mimbanese and the Greenies, called this world home, and they prospered here, becoming rich from the mineral wealth of the world, particularly of something called Hyperborade, which we can assume is some form of fuel source, as if in the first year of the Clone Wars both the Republic and Separatists were throwing men into this world trying to claim it for the war effort. Now, the Mimbanese had pledged loyalty to the Republic on the promise of freedom, and they served alongside the 224th and 501st Battalion. However, as we know, this didn't last long. Eventually, the Republic was reformed into the Empire, and the droid armies were shut down. Nine years after the war, however, in 10 BBY, the Empire decided that it was time to bring this word to heel and sink its claws into its rich mineral resources. However, now the Mimbanese were in open rebellion, and they had a strong biological advantage. They were being able to disappear into the mud that covered most of their homeworld. The Imperials, like the Republic before them, struggled with this. However, they were now fighting the Nimbanese, and this was disastrous, even with all of their specialist gear. Imperial commanders only had one real tactic, and that was to throw legions of men forward, incurring countless casualties for minimal land gains. They were also been slaughtered by Mimbanese ambushes, resulting in a difficult stalemate, with Imperials beginning to have to be completely entrenched into the world, just to be able to hold their ground. Now, the most obvious reason why Mimban was such a deadly place was the environment. Humans aren't really designed to thrive in these conditions. The mud will have been very thick and likely deep in many areas. It's also very likely that quicksand-like patches would be very common on the world. So realistically, the amount of troops who would have drowned will have been astronomical. Not only this, but the enemy was evolved to survive here, and that didn't only include the Mimbanese and the Greenies, but also any local fauna, that would have probably seemed helpless Imperials as a pretty sufficient snack. Now, the Empire combated this by using Swamp or Mud Troopers, who were specially designed to fight in these wet conditions. However, realistically, this was only helping in a limited way. Although their armour made them better camouflage and gave them some additional protection from the weather, and did allow them to see further in the foggy conditions, their weapons did not. It's reported that many of their E-10 blaster rifles were unreliable, and the humid, muddy environment often damaged them, causing them to jam at the worst times possible. We also have the fact that the thick mud would greatly have slowed down any advance. Anyone who's walked through thick mud before can attest to how much it slows you down, and how careful you have to be not to just trip over. So even in open terrain, where the Imperials traditionally dominated, they were just sitting ducks for Mimbanese guerrillas and snipers. Now, although this was hell for infantry, even the effects of the armoured and air force units were limited. ATSTs would also be slowed down by the mud, and likely would have been an engineer's nightmare due to the amount of maintenance that would have been required from slogging through the terrain. And even they ran the risk of drowning in the thick mud, or just getting completely stuck in it, making the armoured unit completely useless. Even air support will have been limited in its effectiveness. There was very few natural landing platforms for ships, meaning that the Empire had to manufacture their own on the world, and even bombing runs would be less effective. Even bombs' impact will have been insulated by the sheer amount of wet mud, meaning that they just weren't very effective. For this reason, the Empire was entrenched, and they weren't really capable of moving. For this reason, commanders who were in charge will have been put under pressure to make advancements in the campaign, which is an impossible situation because they just didn't have enough men to throw at it. So they would do what many Imperials did, and they would simply order their men to advance at the opposition until it was eventually crushed. Similarly to how the Separatists fought much of the Clone Wars. Now, it's not actually known how the Battle of Mimban went. We assume somehow the Imperials won, likely cutting their losses and using orbital bombardments and just decimating most of the world. 
Either that or just greatly increasing the amount of troops on the world and incurring huge amounts of casualties, both of which are pretty traditional Imperial tactics. But what do you guys think of this battlefield? And what world do you think would be the worst to be stationed on? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please remember to like, share and sub if you did enjoy it, it's really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also don't forget to follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy and tick the bell for regular updates. Thanks again for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.